Hey, hey everyone, I'm Mike and welcome to Mike's Physics. Most of the material studied in a first year physics course can be summarized into one theme. And that theme is how things move. In this video, we're going to look at three very important topics. These three pieces begin to describe how things move. And they are position, velocity, and acceleration. By the end of this video, in about seven minutes, you'll be able to define position, velocity, and acceleration, and how they relate to one another. So, here we go. Position. Position in the physics equation is labeled x, and has units, meters. All position is, is a location. It's where something is in the world. It's x marks the spot. Position is a location. Normally, when we talk about physics problems, it's really useful to talk about an initial position and a final position. The initial position, xi, is just the starting location. And the final position, xf, is the ending location. Taking a quick look at an example, a car starts here, a couple seconds later, it ends here. The first yellow dot is the initial position. The second dot is the final position. This change in position going from one location to the other is distance. Once again, the change in position is distance. And position is the foundation for the next piece we want to talk about, velocity. Velocity in a physics equation is labeled v and has units meters per second. All velocity is is speed in some direction. It's how long it takes you to go from here to there. It's cruising in your car, heading east. Velocity is speed in a certain direction. In general, problems from a first year physics course ask questions that deal with three pieces of velocity. The first two are the initial velocity and the final velocity. VI is the initial velocity and VF is the final velocity. The third piece that we want to talk about is average velocity. Average velocity is the average speed something has when traveling in some direction. Average velocity equals the change in position divided by time. This equation is something that every physics student needs to memorize, just commit it to memory. So initial velocity, final velocity, and average velocity. One more velocity tidbit that's important is the velocity sign. Using this picture of a Mexican sidewalk, we'll throw up an X and Y axis. If we focus on Spider-Man and the little boy, we see that they're both walking in the same direction. When two objects move in the same direction, their velocities have the same sign. Spider-Man's velocity is positive, and the little boy's velocity is positive. Looking at this next picture, throwing up an X and Y axis, the guy and the girl walk in opposite directions. When two objects travel in opposite directions, one has a positive velocity and the other has a negative velocity. In this picture, the guy's velocity is positive and the girl's velocity is negative. So, velocity, initial and final velocity, average velocity, and last but not least, the velocity sign. This brings us to our final topic, acceleration. Acceleration in a physics equation is labeled A and has units meters per second squared. And all acceleration is, is the change in velocity per time. It's speeding up and it's slowing down. It's a Ferrari selling point, 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. It's going from this to this. Acceleration is speeding up and slowing down. A lot of times in physics problems, it's really useful to talk about average acceleration. Average acceleration equals the change in velocity divided by time. This equation also needs to be committed to memory. Average acceleration equals the change in velocity divided by time. In addition, just like velocity, acceleration sign is really important too. If we have two objects accelerating in opposite directions, one will have a positive acceleration and the other will have a negative acceleration. Looking at an example with two balls, the first ball accelerates downward, the second ball accelerates upward. Ball 1 has positive acceleration, 
and therefore ball 2 has negative acceleration. So to recap, acceleration, average acceleration, and acceleration sign. A lot of what we study in physics is how things move. In this video, we looked at position, velocity, and acceleration, and useful tidbits that go along with each one. You should now be able to define position, velocity, and acceleration, and describe how position relates to velocity and how velocity relates to acceleration. And memorize the equations for average velocity and average acceleration. You should be able to rattle off these two equations in your sleep. That's it for this video guys. Feel free to watch as many times as you want and have a great day.